Well, it is the deadliest migrant smuggling attempt in U.S. history. Now, a federal grand jury has indicted four men in connection with the deaths of 53 men, women, and children. News Nation's correspondent Ali Bradley joining us on Rush Hour. And Ali, what potential sentences are these men facing? Well, Natasha, these two men here, they could be facing the death penalty if they are, in fact, convicted in connection with this transportation that we saw that resulted in the death of 50 adults and three children. Eleven other people were hurt in that smuggling attempt there that ended up in San Antonio. 46-year-old Homero Zomorano Jr. and 28-year-old Christian Martinez. They're both from Texas, and they're charged in a federal indictment with four counts each, including transportation of undocumented individuals, resulting in death. Now, the other two men that we're talking about here are 23-year-old Juan Claudio de Luna Mendez and 48-year-old Juan Francisco de Luna Bilbao. They're both from Mexico, and they were indicted on one count each of possession of a firearm while being in the U.S. unlawfully. Now, according to court documents, a tractor trailer that was used in this attempted human smuggling event did come back to a San Antonio residence where those two men were seen and were found. Those two men face up to 10 years if convicted in prison, of course. Meanwhile, the 11 people that were survivors in this tragedy here and the 53 families, they could actually play a really integral role in the proceedings. An immigration attorney explains how their cooperation could benefit them and this case. When you look at it from the immigration perspective, um, you know, the survivors and the surviving family members could qualify for a U visa. If their, family, if their family members are looking to be uh, or to apply for a U visa, they, it, they would need to be able to assist law enforcement in um, law enforcement or, you know, the state attorneys or the federal government in um, prosecuting um, the criminals. Now, these families can go to the UCIS website and get some more information if that's something that they want to pursue. But now, if these two men from Texas are convicted here, the charges for conspiracy to transport and transport resulting in death, those carry a maximum penalty of life in prison or the death penalty. That's according to a release that we were getting from the district court there. Now, Attorney General Merrick Garland will have a decision later on to make whether or not they want to pursue the death penalty. Natasha. Right, Ali, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.